Hey guys, now I will show you on how to generate fusion charts dynamically using a XML class that I created. So if we are going to look at the fusion charts XML, so there's a specific uh, items that is required on each XML. So like for example the caption sub caption decimal precision then the color so most of it you can see it here in the documentation okay so based from this xml i created a simple class that will help you generate a xml for the fusion chart so this is the class where there's a property of caption sub caption color which is the back color and then the y-axis name and the x-axis name so whenever we create a new instance of this class we need to pass a data table and also for other parameters which I will explain later okay so that the table that we need to pass should contain a column value and name okay so based from the value you should check if it's not there's no value column so just return and same goes with the name column okay so i will show you on how to use it so basically in this example i don't have a database connection so i'll just use my it so in this one I'm just creating a data table and create a column name and column value so we just need to create the instance up app chart XML then we will just call the create table before which it will create the data table and just let's pass nothing on the other and then on this one instead of using the chart so just remark it and then xml then get xml okay so this function will just create the data table and then add some value and add some this will be the name and this will be the value just created a random number okay so based on this it will create get xml we'll call this function to generate the xml for us so let's try to execute it okay so as you can see it's blank okay so how about we are we are we pass a caption so we'll just put xml and caption sample and then xml sub caption test let's try to execute generate so you can see the sample test but if we want to change the background color Okay, so we just need to pass the background color. So back color is equal to color. Let's say pink. So the back color also changes. Okay, so what if what will be what if we want to pass what will be our query if ever we wanted to get the data from our database so I have a sample here so I have a table which contains the schedule and also the date but if I want to create a chart based on the month and year so my query will be concat month year and year and also the I will count the schedule ID okay so for this one I need to make an alias the name and name and also the alias for the count so that it will generate a 
table or a list of name and with value okay so that's it so whatever we just need to use this as a query and then pass it to our as a data table okay so please have learned something here I'll just post the sample program on my blog so thank you for watching